Imagine the main road leading up to your home or business is crumbling and there is no clear way to fix it. That's what a landowner in East Austin says is happening to them and they blame a Central Texas Transportation Agency for causing the damage to their private road while constructing the 183 tollway. KXAN investigator Avery Travis looks at why the two have been locked in a years long legal dispute and where the case stands today. It's no secret. Development in Austin is heading east. This is a really important site for the city of Austin. And speeding up with the expansion of the 183 toll road. It just provides a lot of opportunity close in town that doesn't exist in other places, not on this size, not on this scale. Which is why Adam Zarafshani and his development group had high hopes for the old Motorola Technology Campus. A hundred acres of land just east of the toll road ready to be revived. But yet nobody seems to mind that this is going on. He's talking about this private road on the property that's crumbling and he blames 183. Rather, the toll road's operator, the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority. The sidewalks are collapsing. Zarif Shani believes the agency improperly used the private road as one side of a detention pond that's meant to collect runoff from the toll road. But according to public court filings by CTRMA's attorneys, they believe the property's developers have allowed the condition of the road to deteriorate over time and are now trying to use taxpayer money to fix a private problem. This used to be a sidewalk for people here who worked on the campus to use, but now it's become more of a picture of just how bad this problem has gotten over the years. This all began as an imminent domain case back in 2015 when CTRMA took over several acres of land from a previous landowner to build this detention pond. Zarif Shani says his development group inherited the legal dispute when it purchased the property in 2020 and the worsening conditions of the road, hindering the development as a whole. Over time, this road is not going to be usable. A judge recently denied Zarif Shani's group's request to force a specific settlement agreement. CTRMA told KXAN it could not comment on pending litigation. Zarif Shani says he just wants a way to move forward. We're kind of stuck. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates. Zarif Shani says he's also worried about environmental impact of any untreated water that's running off onto the property. He says that's why he's trying to get some help from the city of Austin as his next option. We have more of CTRMA's response from its legal filings online with this story right now at KXAN.com. And remember, this story came to us as a tip. If you have something that you think we should investigate, use your smart device to scan the QR code on your screen and send us your tip.